Hey welcome, to another exciting tutorial. Today, we are going to animate a scene, using Adobe Illustrator and Adobe After Effects. So, here we are inside Adobe Illustrator. Here, each vector are created in separate layer. So now, what we are going to do is, we'll save each layer with separate Illustrator file. For example, we'll hide all layer except this house, and we will save it as another file. So that we can easily work on every individual vector art. As you can see, here I have already separated each layer with different Illustrator file. Firstly, create new composition, with default setting and hit OK. Now, let's select all these and drag into project panel. And move this into timeline. Arrange layers properly to create our scene. Now place all vector art properly, so that we can animate. And make sure, to place your layers upside or downside as required. Now as we have arranged our scene properly, now it's time to animate this scene. Now, we'll hide all layers, so that we can comfortably work on each layer. Before starting with animation, we have to first place anchor point, of all layers at the bottom of the shape. This will scale the animation to start from the bottom. It's too easy. Let's start with this house. Go to tools, select this pan behind. You are free to place this anchor point anywhere you want. I'll keep this at the middle bottom of this house. This will create a simple pop-up animation. By the way, you are free to place this anchor point on any side of this shape. In my case, I'll place this anchor point on its middle bottom of this shape. In the same way, let's place anchor point on other layers too. Select all layers one by one, and place the anchor point, at the bottom of the shape layer. Also, make sure that you're placing the anchor point on that particular shape only. Cool. Now, select all layers. And press S to open scale. Now click on this stopwatch. This will create keyframe to all layers. Now simply move this to one second forward. Now increase its value, by simply moving this bar. 
and place these keyframes just close to this keyframes. Now scale value to zero. Awesome. Here we create a bounce effect. We can also call it pop-up animation. Now, select all keyframes and easy ease them. Now, by selecting all keyframes, go to graph editor and make sure to enable this edit speed graph. Here I'll select only this first and second keyframe speed graph and drag this bar just like that. This animation is bit slow. So to fix that, select this last two keyframes of all layers. And move it a bit, to make it fast. Now to make our animation more dynamic, move this layer bar, so that every layer will appear one by one. Adjust till you find this animation good. Now let's work on this cars. Select on car layer, and press P, to open position. Now click on stopwatch to create keyframe, and after some seconds forward. Drag this car somewhat like this. So this will appear like car is moving. Let's preview this. Awesome. Now, let's do this same with other car layers. This will take little more time, but the output our animation will be great. Let's preview this. Awesome! Here our animation is complete. If this tutorial helped you, press the like button, also don't forget to subscribe. See you in next tutorial, stay tuned.